Hello guys, welcome to the ICD-10 PCS coding series. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe and follow the playlist from the beginning so that you understand all the root operations thoroughly. This is part 37 of the inpatient coding series and today we will learn about the root operation bypass from the group of group number 5 of the medical and surgical section. I am Vinay Kumar, I carry an overall experience of 20 years in the US healthcare industry with vast experience in coding, auditing, training and mentoring. I have helped many professionals in gaining knowledge and also preparing for medical coding certifications. I am dual certified from both AHIMA and AAPC with extensive knowledge in all the verticals of the revenue cycle management. So at the end of this learning session, we will have a better understanding of coding the root operation bypass from the fifth group of root operations. We will also look at an example of coding from the uh, medical and surgical section. And as always, remember medical and surgical section is the most important and the largest section in ICD-10 PCS. If you master the root operations from this section, then ICD-10 PCS will be easy for you. So there are a total of 31 root operations in the medical and surgical section and these root operations are divided into 9 groups based on similar attributes of surgical procedures. Today we are looking at the 5th group which talks about root operations that alter the diameter or route of a tubular body part. There are four root operations in this fifth group, restriction, occlusion, dilation, and bypass. All four are one of the most important root operations in ICD-10 PCS. So today we are looking at the root operation bypass, which carries a character value of one. And uh, remember root operations are the most important aspect of building an IC written PCS code. Okay, you always have to think about a root operation in terms of what is the goal or objective of the procedure. If you, are not, if you can understand the goal or objective of the procedure, then you will get the correct root operation always. Okay, read the definitions of the root operations and compare them to the procedure performed so that you get the correct root operation for each procedure. Now, Bypass. The root operation bypass is defined as altering the route of passage of the contents of a tubular body part. So you are simply uh, diverting the contents, the path of the contents of a tubular body part. This root operation is used to code procedures performed for rerouting content of a body part to a downstream area in the normal route or to a similar route and body part or to an abnormal route and another dissimilar body part. So it's like just diverting the natural path of a tubular body part. Bypass includes one or more anastomosis and uh, with or without the use of a device as well. So anastomosis is also part of uh, included in the bypass already. Now, these are examples of procedures which are coded under the root operation bypass. Obviously, coronary artery bypass grafting, gastric bypass procedures, and colostomy formation procedures. These are classic examples of bypass as the root operation. Now, when we talk about bypass, specifically coronary artery bypass procedures or CABG procedures, okay, there are usually uh, three choices for the device value. One value is autologous, which is nothing but autologous venous or arterial tissue, which refers to graft that is obtained from another body part of the same patient, auto. Okay. Similarly, a second type of tissue value or device value you will find is synthetic substitute. Synthetic substitute is any type of artificially prepared graft material. And the third is non-autologous 
tissue substitute, which refers to donor tissue, which is implanted from another individual. So autologous, synthetic substitute and non-autologous. It could be a vein or an artery for the most part and some other materials as well. So these are the device values that you will come across in the coronary bypass procedures. Now, one important guideline that you need to remember for uh, the root operation bypass. There are different types of bypass procedures. You will come across uh, non-coronary bypass procedures like colostomy formation as an example. Okay. Now, for non-coronary uh, bypass procedures, the body part value identifies the origin of the bypass and the qualifier value identifies the destination of the bypass. So, from where is the body part to where is the qualifier when it comes to non-coronary bypasses. But if it's a coronary artery bypass, the body part value identifies the number of coronary sites or coronary artery sites that are bypassed and the qualifier identifies the origin of the bypass. Okay, like if the bypass is from aorta to left anterior descending, the qualifier will be aorta. This is for the coronary artery bypasses. And another important thing to remember is that obtaining an autograft during a bypass procedure, specifically coronary artery bypass procedures, obtaining an autograft is coded separately and it is generally coded to excision as the root operation. Okay, this will be an additional uh, code along with coronary artery bypasses if a graft is harvested. Okay, now another important point again. Uh, bypass is uh, pretty important uh, when it comes to IC written PCS. Okay. Now, when coding coronary artery bypass procedures, one important point to remember is the internal mammary artery bypass procedure. Okay. In this type of a bypass procedure, only one end of the internal mammary artery is cut and the other end is moved to a new location wherever the blockage is. So, in this case, there is no actual graft that was obtained from another location. Like, for example, sharpness vein graft, it is harvested from the leg, right? But for internal mammary artery grafts, you do not uh, cut it on the other end. It is still a pedicled graft. So, the device value is coded as no device for internal mammary artery grafts. That is what I am trying to uh, explain, okay? Lima to LED, for example. Now, this is an example of coding the root operation bypass, coronary artery bypass grafting times three, which means three areas. The diagonal and obtuse marginal arteries are bypassed from the aorta, utilizing graft material from the patient's left greater sharpness vein. And the left anterior descending artery was bypassed using the, using the left internal mammary artery. The left internal mammary artery was dissected as a pedicle using electrocautery and small hemoclips at the same time that the greater saphenous vein was harvested endoscopically from the left lower extremity. Cardiopulmonary bypass was then instituted. Okay, now if you look at this question, okay, this is another good example where multiple codes are required to completely code for the procedures performed. We would need to code for the bypass of the diagonal artery and obtuse marginal artery with one code since they were both bypassed from the aorta and both were bypassed using a sharpness vein graft. Okay. Now, the left anterior descending artery was actually bypassed using the left internal mammary artery, lima. And this would be coded separately because there is no device value in this uh, bypass procedure. That's the second code. The third code would be for the graft that was obtained from the left leg which is the left greater saphenous vein. And this procedure is coded with the root operation excision. So basically, three procedures or three codes are required to complete this scenario. Let's look at each one of them, the tables. So the first code for the bypass of the diagonal and obtuse marginal arteries, section is medical and surgical, body system is heart and great vessels, root operation is bypass. For the body part, we would code it as two coronary arteries because the both the diagonal and obtuse marginal were bypassed using the same graft. Okay, the approach is open. 
Sixth character would be autologous venous tissue since the left greater saphenous vein graft was used to complete the bypass. And the seventh character identifies that the bypass was done from the aorta. So this is the first code 0, 2, 1, 1, 0, 9, W. Now the second code. This is for the bypass of the left anterior descending artery. Section is medical and surgical. Body system is heart and great vessels. Root operation is bypass. For the body part, we would code it as one coronary artery for the left anterior descending artery. Okay, the approach is open. Sixth character would be no device because it was the left internal mammary artery that was used as a pedicle graft. Okay, and uh, the seventh character, uh, the the qualifier okay in this case the, it would be 9 which is left internal mammary artery because that's where the uh, bypass has been performed okay so the co second code would be 0 2 1 0 0 z and 9 that's for the second one now the third code is for the harvesting of the saphenous vein graft that was used to perform the bypass procedures. So the third code is for the saphenous vein graft. Uh, section is medical and surgical. Body system is lower veins. Root operation is excision because a part of the saphenous vein was cut and used as a graft somewhere else. Body part is left saphenous vein. Approach is percutaneous endoscopic because it was harvested endoscopically. Sixth character is no device. And the seventh character is no qualifier. So the code would be 0, 6, B, Q, 4, Z and Z. So the key points that you need to remember. Non-coronary bypass procedures such as colostomy formation, uh, just as an example, the body part value identifies the origin of the bypass and the qualifier identifies the destination of the bypass. And the other point you need to remember is for coronary artery bypass procedures, the body part value identifies the number of coronary sites that were bypassed or treated and the qualifier identifies the origin of the bypass. Okay, and the third actually is obtaining an autograft is coded as a separate procedure with the root operation as excision. So you'll find the online version of the ICD-10 PCS coding manual uh, from this link. I've placed it in the description as well. Once you get to this link, click on the zip file which contains the tables and index. Thank you so much for watching guys. Please subscribe and support, to, uh, support the channel. I really hope these videos are helpful. And I'll do a lot more other videos uh, going forward on CPT, ICD-10, CM and also uh, other types of uh, reinvestment methodologies. Thank you.